What is up guys, we back with another video and today we're gonna be unboxing the Sigma 18 to 35. Now you guys have seen this lens before. We rented it from Lens Rentals. Also, uh, we picked up the 90D at that time and this was the time that we actually tried out this lens and you guys know that I really love this lens. So because I'm getting another camera, I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. I scooped it up on Amazon, man. I will throw a link up in the description for you guys. All right. Uh, but I went ahead and picked this lens up because, again, you're going to be seeing another camera here on the channel soon enough. All right. Now, in the box, you're just going to have some instructions and some little booklets and stuff like that. And then you're going to have this little uh, pouch, a nice little pouch, man, that says Sigma right on the top. I think it's a really nice uh, little pouch. Not, well, it's, at least it's a nice addition uh, so that you can have something to carry your lens around in just in case you don't want to carry it in your camera bag or if you just want to be rocking it separate. At least it has its own pouch man uh, and when you open up the pouch on the top it has like this styrofoam uh, that's going to protect the lens in general so i think that's also a good look as well now in the inside you're going to have the lens hood uh, that's going to be up on the top and you're going to also just have the lens uh, in the bottom now this lens hood made of some really good material man it feels real premium uh, and it's a really nice one too like look at it it's really really nice uh, and I like the fact that it has all the labels and all the stuff on it so that when you screw it on, you know exactly where it needs to be and what it is that you're doing with the lens. Got a little bit of verbiage around the uh, tip, well, the rim of the lens as well. And you could turn it uh, forward and backwards. So if like storing it on your lens just to keep it with you, you could turn it backwards, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. And you can also, uh, you know, store it the opposite way when you want to use it when you're outside and you got like sun glaring and all that stuff, man, you can always take it out and use it, man. Now, in the bottom, there's nothing else in the bag, but you know, you have the Sigma 18 to 35. This is a heavy, heavy lens, but I love this lens to death. And uh, obviously, you know, with a crop sensor camera, you know, 18 to 35, I don't remember what it kind of e equals to, but I know it's somewhere like in the 20s to 50s or something like that, like 28 to 50 or 60. I don't know, but I do the math one day and I'll tell you guys at some point. But this is the lens, man. It's looking very, very spiffy. That Sigma 18 to 35 art lens, real smooth, man, from the 18 to 35. That little focus ring is very, very smooth, man. This lens looks amazing. You got your autofocus, manual focus switch, man. All of the good stuff that we saw when we rented this lens. And when I tell you that the construction and the build quality of this lens is amazing, man, I didn't really get an opportunity to just kind of dive into this lens when we rented it from Lens Rentals. But man, listen, this lens feels so premium. It just feels so premium and then the quality of the images and the video that you get out of this lens just makes this lens like the number one go-to lens for any camera if you can get your hands on an 18 to 35 sigma man you will not be disappointed i promise you that uh but then right here it shows you uh well i'm just showing you guys how you line it up take the little white line right here at least this is how i did it pretty sure somebody in the comments may say you could it doesn't really matter but you know, I just kind of followed uh, the white lines and I lined them up just like that, you know, and that's what it looks like once you get it put on. And then you can also take it off and you can kind of flip it the other way, like I said earlier in the video, uh, if you just want to store it on the lens in general. Again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, man. Stay tuned. We got a camera coming up. You guys will see the one that I went with and uh, we already got the lens, so we will on our way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. And if you found it to be helpful in some way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man Jay, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.